name is Bill Vazan. I have been asked to uh, sit here and explain something about the, the Soundings project. I have been asked if this has some sort of connection with the idea of land art, uh, in which I'm very much uh, involved. It is um, to the degree that uh, I have brought in the most major element which is on the surface of this planet, which is water. As we all know that there is roughly about 75% of the surface covered with water, I wanted that element to be included with land, land art, in this piece. So in the end, um, instead of me showing to the public my gatherings of, let's say, dry, arid kind of sand, gravel, etc., I decided to make it into a more liquid kind of a application to the paper surfaces uh, that I'm using, which meant that I made a mix of uh, acrylic medium with water and the material. So you have much more of a fluidity, a liquid kind of a expression of these different splashes of my travels around this planet. The Soundings project is, uh, you could say it's the third major world work uh, piece I'm involved with. The first one was um, World Line, which was made at the end of the 60s and actually made on March the 5th, 1971, which dealt with uh, a virtual line which was made around the world. That At that point, it was me working with a computer, an engineer uh, from Concordia University and sending out the information to people, sites around the world. The second project within this World Works idea was the Contacts project, whereby the symbol used was X, and I had over a hundred people, artists, poets, and regular people, send in suggestions as to their their interconnectedness uh, between themselves, utilizing the X symbol. Now we're into where uh, it's been sort of expanded to the point where I'm picking up material from around the world. Um, and this comprises me picking up these pieces uh, for the last close to 50 years. Uh, I did note to someone here recently that uh, it's, it started in 1964 and it's, it's pretty well an ongoing piece. One of the first questions that people have asked of me because of my recent uh, just elevation or prominence in conceptual art awareness because of my earlier work is whether this has some sort of connection with that. Um, uh, not so much, but there is some overtones towards it, uh, basically uh, within the area of documentation and dealing with a work which is uh, pretty much with verbal description, but not much more than that. It's a new kind of pen. This is an example of one of my soundings here. Uh, this was made, um, actually was made here in my studio in Montreal, but the material was picked up from a cemetery uh, in Java, that's in Indonesia. And I was on my way to see the, the temple, temple at Bora Badur, and I noticed that there was some loose uh, material of this color, reddish color, which I wanted to collect at that time. And so I gathered it, and uh, when I got back here to Montreal, I was able to make a mix along with my acrylic medium and water and make this sort of splashing. Um, you notice how fluid it has uh, as a quality, as uh, let's say compared to me coming back with that in sort of a bag of dry dust. Recently I was asked about the title soundings for this project, um, especially for the translation into French. Um, uh, it works for me in English, but in French there's a problem of it being misinterpreted as being um, a survey or a resonance, but nothing in the, ter in the way of um, uh, the meaning that I want to have for this word, which is that in English, uh, when you're sort of traveling on a water surface and you want to make sure that you are not going to run up against underwater coral, reef, uh, or whatever, you, it takes soundings. So, 
uh, soundings comes from this idea of making soundings into the water to see where you're going. And I see this as like sort of like a symbol of what could happen to us in the future in a much sort of more of a fantastical way because if uh, this planet becomes more water over, let's say that there's more water over the uh, surface of this planet, we are going to have such a situation where we have to sort of navigate over a, a wide watery surface to our whatever our destinations are. This may turn out to be okay after all. Not quite expected, but there it is. Uluru. Here's Rock Australia. Why go to Australia when you have it here? <laughs>